Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and a little news update regarding Battlefront 2. I don't have any breaking news for you guys today but I've got a couple of comments from different developers regarding some future stuff that I thought you guys might be interested in hearing. First of all, Dennis Brenval, the design director on Battlefront 2, was pretty active out on Twitter earlier this week but he made it very clear that he was not hinting towards anything because you know people like to take things out of context and see it as confirmed because he did use quotes from Over One and from clones in the Clone Wars series and such but he did also make it clear that he's not hinting at anything tonight and I'm assuming he's saying that because he's probably pretty tired of every single word a developer says being dissected into potential confirmations but it did give us some concrete answers such as when he responded to my tweet and said progression and career is first on the list obviously we'll try to keep you entertained with some light content until we're ready for the big stuff later on so this to me basically sounds like the the light content that he is talking about are the things such as the cargo jump pack mode that we will be getting next month and then the big stuff is probably the progression and career that we were going to get more information about in March and that might also be when the next season starts which is the big stuff that he is referring to. And although I hope season 2 might start in February, I wouldn't be surprised if we have to wait until March considering that the Outer Rim DLC for the previous game was also released in March. So for them to have enough time to actually develop a proper season, we might have to wait for that long considering they are remaking the progression system as well. But we'll probably still get some patches as well as of course the new game mode in February. Basti also asked Dennis if he still has plans to improve squad play slash playing with friends and Dennis responded with absolutely. So it's good to hear that they are indeed still working on that as I think that's something all of us want. Eventually a proper squad system would be great but at least some way to play together with your friends a little bit better because at the moment it's basically just you see a green marker on them and that's about it. Moving on, a quick update regarding the Q&A that I brought up a couple of days ago. Sledgehammer posted on the forum and said the questions coming in at this point are all duplicates. I'm going to pull as many as I can have answered. I will craft a new thread with answers once available and open a new one-on-one -on -one once we're ready to take more questions. So the good news here is that they are indeed creating a new thread with all the answers so we won't have to dig through endless pages or responses. And once that post is up, I will of course cover that in a video. And Sledgehammer also said on Twitter that he just submitted the massive question list to the team so my guess is that we might get the answers next week sometime considering it's a weekend now and they probably won't start writing down those answers until Monday or Tuesday. And Peter Vesti, one of the developers on Battlefront 2, responded to some concerns regarding spawns out on uh, Reddit and he said that for the next patch he did some fixes on Crate and Endor that will fix some of the problems in the transitions between the phases. And I'm very glad to hear about that because I've always felt on those particular maps that it's been very frustrating when the actual phases change, at least on Endor between the first and second phase. It's been quite awkward there where the Empire usually gets stuck and sometimes even die outside the zone. So I'm glad that we can expect some uh, spawn fixes for the next patch. And then Hyperfire posted out on Reddit saying that EA David responded on the forums regarding the issue that some people didn't get the proper reward crates. I couldn't actually find this answer myself on the forum because it's like impossible to actually search up specific messages. But I think they said something like this earlier so I wanted to bring it up anyways for those of you who are worried and keep tweeting me about it. He says that, hello everyone, I know this issue is frustrating and I'm sorry that I haven't had any updates for you for a while. We still don't have an ETA for a fix, but it's worth noting that we have confirmation that missing credits will be granted retroactively once the issue is fixed. While the issue is still present, they should at least give you some peace of mind for those of you who have opened crates and should give more freedom to those hoarding crates. So basically, if you've had any issues with credits or crates not being awarded properly, you should get that back retroactively when they have a fix for it. I personally haven't had any issues with it, so I don't know the exact details regarding it, but I do know that like 5 or 10% of the community might be affected by that issue. But that brings today's news to an end. I hope you guys all have a very relaxed weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you.